Okay, so now what we're gonna do is set up a custom conversion. The custom conversion is based on a thank you page. Um, so now let's click on events manager. Okay, so now um, go ahead and click on, you can exit out of this part. And real quick too, before we even, even do this part, let me check something on the business settings. Click on the three lines at the top left and go to, um, go to business settings. And then now to the left, go to, um, go to data sources and then click on custom conversions. Okay, cool. Let's, let's do it from here. So go ahead and click on add. And then um, you're going to create a new custom conversion. Okay, cool. So at the very, very top, this is, this is the thank you page. So what I end up naming the custom conversion is exactly what I named the custom audience of the thank you page. So what did we name the thank you page? This is the buyer, the buyer one. So we named it home buyer event leads. I think that's what we named it, home buyer event leads. Okay. Yeah. So that's the, the name of the custom conversion as well. Home buyer, home buyer event leads. Okay. And then, and then there's the right group for you. Okay. Perfect. And then select your own category, click the blue link, select your own category. And then here you're going to hit the recommended. And, and in this case, these are all the different data points that, that, that Facebook. So, so a custom conversion is, is based on the destination page. So as we're running ads, what are we ultimately trying to get them to do? Yes. Click on the ad. Yes. Come over to the landing page. But what we're ultimately trying to get them to do is fill out the form because as they fill out the form, they land on the thank you page. The thank you page is the custom conversion. So these are all right here, pretty much thank you pages, add payment info, add to cart, um, complete registration, contact. A lot of times we'll just go with lead. Watch, scroll down. A lot of times we'll just go with lead, but in this case, it's an event. So maybe we can go with what's the one above? Up, 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 up. You go, go back up. You had there was um, there was the complete registration. Maybe the registration submission of information by a customer. Well, it's just the name. Complete registration. Does complete registration sound better, or is lead better to kind of refer to this? Probably complete registration. I think. Yeah, yeah. They registered, right? They they got information regarding an event. Yeah, go with complete registration, and then now get the thank you page link. Oh crap. Um, you could just get it from Kartra. Just click the three dots. I don't. Perfect. And we'll copy that, and then that becomes our custom conversion. So no, just go back to go back just to that just, one that's already open. Yeah, that one. Okay, so paste it in here. At right the here. bottom. Yeah, and create. Okay, cool. And then one thing we want to do too to um yeah we got to go through all this. So number one, go to go to settings. And then right here, you're going to simply add a add assets at the top. So click on add assets, and then you're gonna simply connect it to the right group for you. So check that circle, the right group for you, and then add. Okay, cool. So now go back to that other tab, the one at the top 41, the one next to it. Yeah, and then now we're gonna go down to number two, go to web configurations. So here we're gonna now, um, oh, we didn't, we didn't verify the domain yet, right? Mm. The right group. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we have. We're using the dot info one. We're right. using the info one. Right. So we need to we need to activate that dot info real quick. So go to go to yeah go to go to GoDaddy. Okay. So now manage events. Perfect. And then edit. And then go ahead and click on the add event button. The the green add event. Okay, cool. So now this drop down the left, click on that one and go to custom conversion. And then the drop down to the right, click on that one. There is your custom conversion. So here it's just telling Facebook um, that the destination page, that the thank you page, it, 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 that's the page we're trying to get people to. It's that page, the custom conversion. So apply. And that's it. So yes, I confirm. And then apply. Okay. So now as we go set up the ad, which, which, um, 
which let's let's can we do it tomorrow morning? Can we do it first thing tomorrow morning? Absolutely. This part was so important, and this is what we did not do. We just did it right now. So yeah, absolutely. So we got our custom audiences done. We got our pages done. We got our custom conversion done. Yeah. But so we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. But what you do need to do is put that video and the text on the business page. So put that on the business page, the post. So go ahead and post that video, right? Post it on the business page because that is the ad. Oh, okay. So your video that you got going on, put it on the business page. That's the okay. ad, right? The video ad. Cool. Right. So this was custom audience. This was this was custom conversion. So any any questions on that? I I my head is spinning. I I wouldn't <laughs> know if I had a question yet. Anyway, so as of now, no. <laughs> I can completely relate to you, Kara. My head is still spinning. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Training. So that, no, don't feel bad. That's just the custom conversion. That's just telling Facebook the most important page that we're ultimately trying to get people to on a freaking ad. That's it. Like, and that needed to be set up. So as we go and set up the ad, which we'll do on our next call, I'll show you where that, where we plug that in. Okay. okay. That was just simply the custom conversion setup. All right, David.